How's it going? I'm very excited. In today's video, I want to talk about how to control your dreams. Now, you might be asking, why would I want to control my dreams? Well, there's a number of reasons you want to do this. Um, maybe you've already experienced a dream where you've felt like you knew you were dreaming, but you just couldn't take control of it. Perhaps you've experienced nightmares over and over, the same nightmare perhaps. Perhaps you want to actually overcome traumas or different things that you have in the past, or you want to practice skills in your dreams, or you want to live out a uh, sexual fantasy, or even fly, you know, that kind of stuff. If that is what you're interested in, then check out this video. Hey, it's Felipe with the Social Buddha Education Method. Now, in this video, I want to first of all let you in on a little secret. When you begin to control your dreams, you become even better at manifesting and creating in your life because your limits become expanded, your mind becomes expanded, especially when you do it over and over. So, yes, you can control your dreams, but the added benefit is that you can take this limitless mindset, this limitless reality that is a lucid dream into your waking life. And that's what I'm here to talk about. All right, first of all, I want to start this video with why dreams are important and you know how valid are they in transformation for yourself and for your life. Um, ancient traditions like Tibetan monks and different you know traditions that go back thousands of years have used dreams to awaken, if you will, to transform their consciousness, to transcend their consciousness, if you will. And everything from using dreams to awaken within their reality, to awaken to the essence of reality, which is essentially also kind of a dream, all the way to the scientific proof that dreams can actually alter your, your brain. It can, they can alter the way that you are wired in your mind. In other words, many times you practice different skills, you know, in your head, whether you visualize or you're in a dream, scientists have found that the same areas in your brain that light up when you practice a specific skill, when you're doing it physically, light up in the same way when you are visualizing something or when you're dreaming about a specific thing. For example, there was an experiment where there were three teams, three basketball teams, they were uh, practicing three-pointer shots. Uh, one of the teams was uh, practicing physically shooting them. Uh, another team was um, practicing only visualizing it. And another team was simply doing nothing to see which team was going to improve the most. Uh, they put them through this test. Now, of course, the team that did absolutely nothing, they declined in their performance. The team that you know was physically shooting these shots improved somewhat. But the team that improved the most was the team that was visualizing, throwing these shots and making them every single time, visualizing for success. So I am telling you that if you're able to control your dreams, you're able to control your mind and you're able to control your, a lot of your life. In fact, you are hacking into your subconscious when you are learning how to control your dreams. So if that excites you, check this out. All right, first things first, let's say that you realize that you're dreaming. From there, how do you control the dream? Now, you can do it in a number of ways. You, first of all, the number one thing that you wanna do to control your dreams is before you go to sleep, visualize what you're gonna be doing in the dream and your purpose or your objective. Your purpose might be flying. So you might visualize yourself taking off, levitating, or maybe getting like a jet pack or something like that to begin flying if you saw this, that's something you want to experience you can also if you're not you know if you want to conquer your fear of heights if you have one you can jump off the building and begin levitating that sort of thing but most of all what i do personally is i just begin levitating or i might jump and you know i start levitating uh, so that's number one in terms of one of the activities you can do in dreams another one is um, you can conquer um, fears, um, whether it's social anxiety, whether it's uh, fear of heights, like I mentioned, you can do those in your dreams and you can visualize that again before you go to sleep. Uh, a third thing that you can do when you're controlling your dreams, another option is to practice a certain skill that you want to build. Perhaps you're wanting to build your social skills. 
what do you do? You begin socializing, or perhaps you want to practice success in terms of your dating life, attracting a certain kind of person. You can live that life within your dream and just manifest, visualize manifesting uh, a specific person in that dream. And one of the things before I go into the other activities that I want to mention about this is that you literally bring that experience out, especially if you have good dream recall. In fact, I have another video on how to have lucid dreams, increase your dream recall and that kind of stuff. So you want to check that out. But um, in terms of this, you're bringing that experience out. So you are expanding your limits. You're expanding your consciousness as you really, um, as you remember your dreams, these dreams that are limitless. So anyway, so that's the third activity. Let me go on to the fourth one. The fourth thing you can do, it's something very, very important. I think it's very important in terms of transforming your life beyond just having fun, maybe flying and maybe having sexual encounters or going through walls or having super speed or being a superhero. Beyond all that fun stuff, you can heal yourself. And here's what I mean. Um, first of all, um, you can heal yourself by um, perhaps you have some traumas. Let's say you have some traumas of your childhood. You can manifest your child like self into the dream and really deal with some deep issues that you might not have access to on your, during your waking life so that's one of the, th the ways uh, other ways is you can manifest people that have maybe already passed away uh, maybe you want some closure um, or people that you are not currently talking to that you would like to have some closure about uh, one of the ways that I have healed myself and gone over a lot of different traumas it has been when I realized that I'm dreaming the same dream over and over about a certain person that I have resentment towards, that tells me that I have to deal with that. And uh, what I've done is I've actually talked to people that have that I have, have held resentment towards be, because of the dreams that I've been having on a regular basis. So that's another way that is very practical and that is transformative in terms of your everyday life that you can use your dreams to do. So definitely try that out. And the final one, again, there's many others in this, but just kind of keeping it short. The final one I would say is practicing skills. So let's say that you're a musician or let's say that you are you know, into a sport or you're playing a sport. You can visualize doing that in the dream and become better at it. It's kind of like visualization. If you've heard of this, if you heard of the law of attraction, visualization and all that kind of stuff, uh, this is the same thing, but you know, on steroids, you're literally, you know, hacking again into your subconscious so you begin to you know live another life if you will and if you're for example a, a soccer player a football player you uh you might you know visual you might be dreaming about scoring all these goals and being a superstar and all that kind of stuff and bring that confidence out into your um into your game into your uh whatever you do whatever activity whether you play a musical instrument you can bring those skills and that confidence back into the waking world. So I would try those things. Um, there's many others, like I said, there's everything from you know manifesting a, some kind of a spiritual teacher all the way to meeting with mentors that help you out, maybe creating new business ideas, uh, just tapping into a limitless creative state within the dream. All right, so now that you know some of the activities that you can practice in you know in your dreams and that kind of stuff how do you do it how do you cement that and how do you visualize it every night before you go to sleep visualize it that simple <laughs> but here's a method um you want to write down maybe some kind of a story in on, on a notebook of what you want to do um maybe that you want to practice for the whole month or for three months or whatever so maybe you write you know i fly out into the sky and i you know visit different planets or it might be something where you wanna use this from a practical sense to bring it out into your waking life. So you might say, you know, I'm living this incredible life where, you know, I am meeting my, I don't know, ideal soulmate or you are, whatever it is that you're trying to gain more confidence about, maybe your dating life, or maybe it's attracting more money. You might, you would write down the story in that way and begin to live it in your dreams, bring out those um, experiences and that confidence back into your waking life but again write it out write down what you're gonna be doing in your dreams and uh, and again uh, there's another video on how to actually become lucid and how to increase your dream recall uh, lucid again means just realizing that you're dreaming so if you need that check out that video and uh, yeah 
try this out and let me know how it works. If you have questions, put them down below and I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, as well as if you like this video, give it a thumb, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, uh, share it with anyone that you can, um, that can benefit from this and uh, we'll talk to you soon.